Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maradalia and this is Marith Her. So today I'll be telling you guys about my recent trip to the Goodwill this past weekend. I spent about $40, so $40 and change, um, closer to the 50 side and everything was also on sale because it was President's Day weekend, which was great because um, there was sales on top of the already discounted prices from a thrift shop. So I will be showing you guys everything that I bought. I walked out with about nine pieces of clothing and a pair of boots and I found some really nice things. So without further ado, let me show you guys everything that I bought. So let me start with the shoes. I got these pair of Nine West boots. It's a really nice heel because it's comfortable. I can wear this to work. I can wear it for a night out. So I have higher heels than that. Like I have two pairs of black boots. Um, I have a, a grungy one, I have over the knee, and then I thought this was perfect, it's right below the knee, um, and it's pointed toe, and I love the um, silver zipper on the back, so I'm really satisfied with these, and of course with the price from the thrift store, it can't go wrong with them. So the next thing that I got was this sweater, which if you guys saw my last video that I posted a couple days ago, I was wearing this. I wore it with bike shorts and black pumps. So it's an oversized chunky sweater. And I really liked it because it's red and blue. And guys, after I took it off the last time that I, the first time that I wore it a couple days ago, I realized when I took it off that it is 90% wool and 10% cashmere score. Um, this is great quality because it is made out of, and I, it's made out of quality materials. So it's definitely a big steal. So I am very happy about this sweater. The next thing I got was this little mini skirt and it's actually, still with its tags, it's from forever. And I think it's gonna be a great skirt for spring. It has this embroidered um, pattern and these um, flowers. And it, it has a really nice material, it's not denim, but it fits really nice. So I am very excited to wear this skirt. Stay tuned on the gram to see it this spring. The next thing I bought was this little vintage gap vest and i saw it and i was like i have to have it i'll insert a picture i tried it on after i left the shop um i think i sent a picture to one of my girlfriends so i will insert a picture somewhere on the screen of me trying it on i was like i have to have it it has these really nice buttons and i think it's gonna look very nice with a white button down and some boyfriend jeans or something like that so stay tuned on instagram to see how i style this or give me some suggestions in the comments how should i wear this best but um yeah i was like i have to have it i would try it on over my top but then i'm gonna look like a christmas tree we're not going there in february the next thing that I bought was this black sweater. It's from Forever 21 and I really like this. I already have a couple sweaters like this. I have like a baby pink open back one and a yellow crop one that I have worn previously with um, the bell sleeves, but I don't have a black one. And of course you can never go with a, wrong with a black sweater. And this is not a simple black sweater. This material makes it look more dressy. So I can wear this with jeans, but I can also dress this up because it's not like a simple black sweater. It just looks more elevated. So I'm excited to wear this. I'm definitely gonna get a good wear out of this before winter's over. And the next thing that I got was this little black faux fur vest. I already have two of them. I have a white one that I bought at Target a couple years ago, and I have a gray one that was a Christmas gift from a good girlfriend of mine, but I never had a black one. And of course, you know, I needed a black one. I had the white and the gray. The gray was easier to wear than the white one because you don't really find yourself wearing those colors as often, but black is a color that you wear all the time. I find myself wearing black most days. Um, on the weekend, sometimes I just throw on jeans and the black sweater 
So this will be perfect to throw on over a black sweater and some jeans. So I will definitely get wear out of this and I, I just had to get it. It's my style. The next thing that I got was this really, 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 really cute sweater. It's from Forever 21. And it is like a very nice baby pink. And then it has this metallic pattern on it. And it has that nice texture that I was just talking about with the other sweater. And I am very excited to wear this sweater. It's a great sweater to trip. It's a great sweater for February, actually. And a great sweater to transition from winter into spring because I can wear this when it's still chilly out, but it's like spring vibes. So, you know, like I'm not cold, but because I'm warm, but spring vibes. So I'm very excited to wear this one, actually. I'm really, really, really excited. Stay tuned on Instagram to see how I wear this, guys, if I post it, which I probably will, because that's a really good piece. I had to buy myself a pair of sweats. I saw these in the men's section, and I was like, I love sweats. I wear sweats all the time, and I like they're men's, but I really like the silhouette. I feel like they're gonna look high-waisted, and I am that girl, guys. I am that girl that throws on sweatpants and sneakers and goes about her day, but also throws on sweatpants, a bodysuit, and heels and goes to a party. So I had to get these sweats. The next thing that I bought, I'm gonna leave the best for last, or my favorite for last, was this little jacket. It's very warm. I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen of me trying it on at the store. I I was like, I have to have it. It looks really nice and it's a perfect jacket to transition from winter into spring. We're about to enter that awkward stage where it's really cold out, but it's not really that cold. So you want to be warm, but you don't want to wear your puffer coat. So this is where this is going to come into play. It's going to be a great jacket for me to own the next couple of months. And then the last thing that I bought was this vintage 1980s dress i know it looks a little funny but guys it's like this dress was meant for me i will insert a picture of me trying it on somewhere on the screen i was like i have to have it the little flower is removable so i don't have to keep it with this which is perfect because i plan to wear without this but maybe i don't want to get rid of it because you know you never know so imagine this with some really cool earrings and some strappy heels and a cute little tiny purse. I feel like it's a perfect look to go somewhere. And this was made by this designer, Richie Freeman for Terry, Terry John. And I realized after I got home that it is 100% silk. So this is a luxe piece actually. And it has these really nice buttons and it has this really cool pattern here and then like the flowers at the bottom and it's pink and black and I fell absolutely in love with it. So that is the recap of my little thrift, um, thrift or Goodwill, whatever you guys wanna call it, shopping trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you guys can stay up to date um and also see how i style some of these pieces and thank you again for watching and i will see you guys next time bye